have Rome today, so excited. So I'm flying from JFK to Rome, and then we get about 24 hours in Rome, and then Rome back to JFK. It is a three-day trip. I love going international. All right, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know last week I was in Greece. Oh my gosh, check that off the bucket list. Cannot believe I actually went to Greece. <laughs> Any table we want? <laughs> You want the one finger over there, probably, yeah. 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 Good views. So Greece is amazing. It's so cool. We're in Athens, but we're just off one of the islands right now. Have you guys tried grilled octopus before? It's your favorite, huh? And in a little olive oil. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this one's chewy. Finally made it to the Acropolis. It is so crowded here, <laughs> like insanely crowded. Everybody's trying to get a picture. They're refurbishing it over here. There's a lot of like projects. There's a big crane over there. There's so much cool stuff here. Like Greece is literally amazing. I haven't vlogged like a ton ton just because We've just been just soaking it all in and I haven't wanted to worry about like taking my vlogging camera out and like capturing this and capturing that. I've tried to get like a little bit of footage for you guys without like talking so much. So hopefully I'll be able to put all that in there. I didn't get a lot of footage. I didn't vlog consistently in Greece just because I was with Bart and you guys know that I hardly ever get to see him so I wanted to dedicate all my attention and all my time to him. So now I have to switch my fun luggage to my flight attendant luggage. This portion of the vlog is sponsored by Away. <laughs> My favorite luggage company. I have been working with them for almost two years now, probably over two years. And it's really the only luggage that I use when I am personal traveling. I have the aluminum case. I also have the regular black one. I think Bart uses the one with the pocket in the front. We also have checked luggage with them. I've used all of their luggage. I've tested it out so many times. This luggage works. So many colors that you can choose from online. I always feel like a rock star walking through the airport with this. Away gives you a 100 day trial so you can get the luggage. If for some reason you don't like it, something goes wrong, you can send it back to them, no questions asked. They also give you free shipping, guys, which is huge. I hate to pay for shipping, so when something can be shipped to me for free, it's like a no-brainer just awesome feature of the bag is that it has this removable battery pack that can charge your phone up to two full charges and the fact that it's removable it complies with all the airline like rules and regulations their suitcases really are designed to last a lifetime I have been using mine for several years now and I can really say that I've put them through everything I've put them to the test. So Away always gives you guys a promo code. So for $20 off a suitcase, go to awaytravel.com slash fly2019 and enter promo code fly2019 at checkout. Okay, ready. Bye Franny, I love you. Okay, I think I have everything. I just ordered my car. It was $97 on, wait, I just heard my phone. $97 on Lyft, $87 on Uber. Oh, oh my, no, so I'm taking Via. What, what, like, what the heck, why are, is it so expensive right now? Ah, oh, got my sweater. I need my phone. I swear, when I'm trying to leave my house, I'm always running so late. Okay, all right. What? JFK, yeah. Okay. okay, boss, you wanna go to the American? Oh, yeah, right here is fine. Just got to JFK. It's looking a little crowded today. Had the best Via ride. The driver and me talked the whole time, like an hour and a half. All right, getting excited for Rome. Gonna sign in. Well, gonna go through security, then I'm going to sign in. No, no, 
I'm gonna go through security and then I'm going to go to the crew lounge and then probably hit up Starbucks and then sign in and then head to my gate, head to my plane. I wanna get there early because it's an international flight so we wanna to be to the plane early and check everything and don't wanna be rushed. Thank you. my own straw and it's like iridescent. I got it off Amazon for like four dollars. Maybe seven. It was like a four pack. Oh my god it's so cute look. I still have a while before I have to be at my gate but I'm gonna go to my gate early. I have my coffee ready to go. <laughs> we're in Italy! We're in Italy! We're in Rome. So, welcome! Welcome! It's nice! What time is it? Like 7, 8 in the morning? Who's got a, who's got a clock? 8 after 7? 10 after 7. Alright, we just got here. Making our way to the vans. Gonna load our stuff. Head over to the hotel. Feels connecting. <laughs> Ooh, these stairs are like lit up. Oh, really? Oh my goodness. She paid our tip. Wow, look at this nice. I thought she was going to be riding on the bus. That's why she paid it. Wow. She was connecting to Athens. Yeah, I'll put up. I drink a lot of water. Wow, an international? You really don't get two beds very often. This is awesome. Okay, let's get a look at our view outside. Courtyard view. My favorite thing to do is take my scarf and my badge off at the end of a trip. All right, guys, it is 8 a.m. Rome time and it is 2 a.m. New York time. I actually don't feel that tired. I'm like feeling pretty good. I'm definitely going to take a nap. I'm gonna sleep for about three hours and then some of the crew are meeting downstairs around 12.30 to go to a grocery store. So I'm not entirely ready to wake up, but it's about 12.27. And I'm supposed to meet some of my crew downstairs at 12.30. So, I guess I'm, I guess it's time to get up. One thing I get asked all the time, I, I oh, it's always commented, it's always DM'd to me, is as a crew member, do you pay for your hotel room? Personally, like out of our own pocket and the answer is no um, The company pays for our hotel rooms when we get to a destination, so I Don't have to pay for this Yeah <laughs> Finally got my pizza. Who wants pizza now? Okay, so we just popped into a church over there and drank the holy water. Uh, the popes blessed that fountain to be a magical fountain, so that's the second time I've drank that holy water. All the flight attendants, they always go there and they're like, make sure you drink the holy water. Go get a shot of the holy water. Keeps us safe when we're flying. Shrubby fountain, guys. 
how crazy busy it is. <laughs> Genie in a bottle. Pantheum, guys. That's so cool. But because it's just open. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah, it's nice and cool in here. Oh, it's a church. Okay. Guys, I'm literally the hottest mess right now. So in this pantheon here, the first king of Italy is buried over there. And his son is buried back here. <laughs> I know you can like barely see it, but this is so cool. Every time I've come to Italy, this pantheon has been closed. So the fact that it's open right now and I get to see everything, it's just, ugh. Oh. I just can't like believe like I'm in Italy right now and like yesterday, this morning, I was at, you know, in New York, drinking my coffee on the couch. So this is the son's grave. King's grave here. Stir the wax a bit to make the color uniform. So cool. And is this the name of the store? Yeah, let me get this side. So this is where Julius Caesar was stabbed. Which is kind of like in the middle of the city. So random. Also guys, I wanted to show you what I got from the grocery store a little bit earlier. So I got two like pasta sauces here. Of course, some olive oil that another flight attendant recommended for me. This uh, like hot pepper that you put on pizza or you can really put it on anything, but I got one for me, one for my mom. I got some olives, of course, when in Italy, <laughs> and some coffee for my dog walker. She loves this brick coffee, so a little gift for her. And all of this, 17 euros and nine cents. All right, so I'm going to go to bed now. It is about nine o'clock and nine ten, and I have 7.15 pickup tomorrow, 7.15 a.m. pickup tomorrow. So this was kind of a short layover. It was just 24 hours, you know, not, not a very long layover. So um, it's really nice sometimes when you get a layover where you don't leave till the afternoon the next day, because then we could go out and explore in the morning, but that's okay. We'll be back into New York around 3.30, so we'll still have the whole day ahead of us. Good morning, good morning everybody. It is, it is 6.45 a.m. Rome time and 12.45 a.m. New York time. I'm putting on my makeup. Okay, I went to Sephora and I think I bought a color that is too light, but it's the only makeup I have right now. So I just gotta make it work. <laughs> Question for you guys, because I was really pondering this, as I started doing my makeup. Do you guys brush your teeth before you do your makeup or after you do your makeup? I also, I always wonder that because sometimes I'm like, ooh, I should brush it before so then I don't like mess up my lips afterwards. But then I'm always just like, I just want to start. I don't want to brush my teeth first. What do you guys do? Before makeup or after? When do you brush your teeth? I almost forgot my shoes. Let's do one sweep. Good. Sweep in here. I have about eight minutes before I need to be downstairs, so perfect timing. And um, yeah, I'm I'm ready. I'm gonna put my hair up in the van because I didn't have time. But look, you guys, hello. I have to see some comments on this blow-dried hair. And look how long it's getting. Oh my gosh. Woo. <laughs> it's 
There's probably an easier way, but here we go. Totally here early, didn't have to rush down here. I'm not even the last crew member down at pickup. Oh my gosh. I was putting the, uh, this is the thank you. I left her oh, look no. at this mood lighting no, in the van. Yeah, I know. So I was oh, like, true. I didn't realize you had the end. Yeah, I know yeah. that you get them together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got that yeah. yeah. and then I got It's <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm so bad. Tote bag on the floor. Guys, back in New York City, and this is me looking the hottest mess. Just flew from Rome to JFK, right? Look at Lene. Ew. <laughs> new, new hire flight attendant, looks perfect. Let's ask Lene the three questions. Okay, oh my God, we haven't done this in so long. Okay, Lene, hi girl. Hi. Okay, question number one, how long have you been flying? About two months. Two months, super baby new hire. <laughs> okay, what is your favorite thing about the job so far? Um, Going new places. Going to new Honestly, places? Honestly, because I haven't been to a lot of places in the States, so it's fun going to like new places. Okay, I yes! For, like you know, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, yes! Yeah, like I've never been there and I loved it. <laughs> okay, and what is the most challenging part of the job so far? Um, trying to get a semi normal sleep schedule. Oh my god! <laughs> Yes! Yes! A normal sleep schedule? Are you joking? That is the hardest. I'm tired all the time. Me, five years in, I'm still tired all the time. Yes. Her name is Lulu. Lulu! 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 Oh, Lulu! Look at you, baby girl. Express right here. Oh. <laughs> okay. About to take a nap. Okay, wait, let me tell you guys what time is it? Okay, it's 3:20. Just got home, going to cuddle with Franny and take a nap. Goodbye, good luck. Oh. <laughs>